Hi, today I want to look at a game where I am playing black against Azerbaijani Grandmaster Elmar Magaramov. This was a 5 minute game played on the Internet Chess Club in January 2008. Okay, the game started c4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6. This is the main line of the English opening. Now the most popular move is g3, but my opponent played the solid e3. I played bishop b4, knight d5, bishop, uh, knight d5, e4, and now my opponent's knight is attacked, he moved back with knight g1, and now I should have played castle's kingside, queen c2, rook e8, protecting the e4 pawn. In the game, I played bishop d6, which is a slight error. My opponent played queen c2. The pawn on e4 can no longer be protected, although black can muster up some initiative. I played castles, gambling the pawn. Knight takes f6, check queen takes f6, queen takes e4. b6. The bishop is placed on the long diagonal to attack the white queen. Knight f3, bishop b7, bishop e2, rook a8. I, I gain time on white's queen. Queen c2, knight b4, queen b3, queen g6. In fact, black's active play has granted him a small advantage. Castles, knight c2, the rook is attacked, so my opponent played rook b1, knight d4. Again, the rook is attacked now by my queen on g6. e takes d4, and now I played rook takes e2. If um, queen takes b1, white can try to trap my queen with bishop d3, so I avoided this. And now my opponent's rook is uh, still attacked, so he played rook a1. And now Ripka suggests bishop e4, giving black a clear advantage. The idea of this move is to stop white from playing d2 to d3 and developing his bishop. In the game, I played rook fe8. d5. White uses his extra pawn to shut in my bishop. I played c6. Of course, I tried to open the game again, which would be advantageous for my two bishops. d takes c6, bishop takes c6, d4, bishop e4, knight g5. And now, bishop d3 was a strong alternative, but I played bishop c2, queen h3. And here, bishop d3 was extremely strong, giving black a clear advantage. Black threatens both rook e1 and bishop takes c4 with devastating consequences. In the game I played h6 which is inaccurate. Knight f3, bishop f5. And now white only has one move. His queen has no squares so he must play knight h4 attacking my queen. Bishop takes h3, knight takes g6. And now I should have taken an extra pawn with bishop takes g2 trying to get as much material for my bishop as possible. King takes g2, f takes g6, b3, g5 would have given me a slight advantage due, due to my e-file domination. In the game I played the inaccurate bishop f5, knight f4, bishop takes f4, bishop takes f4, rook takes b2, bishop e3, rook c2, rook fc1, rook c8, c5, b takes c5, d takes c5, bishop e4, Rook takes c2, bishop takes c2, rook c1, bishop e4, rook c4, bishop c6, rook b4. My grandmaster opponent has successfully has successfully unwinded and now stands well, with good control of the b-file. My opponent was able to establish some strong pressure, but I was eventually able to overcome this, and we agreed to a draw on move 67. Thanks for watching this video.